You invest money in things that are perpetuating culture and uh, everything that's wonderful about Hawaii, and you're doing it in ways where you don't even expect to get anything in return from that. One example is the CAPES projects that you're working on. So tell us about that. The CAPE program actually, uh, it started with a painting. And the painting was called the Ahaula, and it was done by Brooke Parker. And Brooke is a direct descendant of Kamehameha the Great. We've had a few people ask us, what does a reforestation operation uh, care about capes? And the linkage is uh, the feathers come from endemic birds. The endemic birds come from the endemic forest. Without the forest, you don't have the birds. Without mm. the birds, you don't have the feathers, and therefore the capes disappear. And the idea is where people can be in contact with these things and understand just how important it is. We're very excited to have this beautiful cape. It's extremely special. I think it's, it speaks to the heritage of the island. It ties in with our relationship with Hawaii Legacy Hardwoods. Every interaction we've had with these guys has been authentic. Something about this project was unique, our ability to, to connect with something that's not just a temporary project, you know. This is something that's going to last forever. This feather here, the orange one that we're using, that I'm tying on right now, that comes from the Lady Amherst pheasant. And on the Lady Amherst, there's a very small section on the tail that where these small uh, feathers come from. And the small feathers are mostly black and of course with all of the down at the base and then the orange color is on the, is on the tip of the feather. So a good pheasant would probably yield about 15 to 18 usable feathers and, and that's it. But the triangle right here, just that full triangle will take me the, almost, a, well, almost a day to complete in the orange feather. <laughs> You know, you don't have to be Hawaiian to see how important it can be in a culture. It's about the art and it's about that Hawaiian tradition and actually keeping that part of the oldest tradition in Hawaii. Ancient Hawaiian featherwork, what I consider that being the oldest art form in Hawaii to remain alive so that the next generations can come up and it's not one of those things that is, you know, a used to be. To put something together with natural feathers, with natural colors, that would represent the native Hawaiian birds. Doing these pieces like that with all of the work that gets done, that's really a triumph at the end, is to know that the only other ones that exist are in the museum. So 